What is going on everybody? Back at it again with another YouTube video. Before I get started, if you guys like the content, make sure you guys leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Now, if you also aren't followed to my Twitter account, the link is in the description and it should be up, you know, right wait, here, right here. And you know, the beginning of the videos, usually around here, and then you know. Go, sub go follow that because I posted a poll today saying what video do you guys want me to post about. There was three options. It was Jason Tatum versus Ben Simmons. It was my favorite athlete moment, like my favorite moment with an athlete and my favorite piece of sports memorabilia. Now, on the poll, my favorite athlete experience won today and my favorite memorabilia item came in second. So I will be doing that tomorrow. I will be doing my favorite athlete experience today. Also, happy Memorial Day to everybody. Thank you all for your service. And, you know, now to get into the video. Now, I do have some honorable mentions, you know, for myself. And, you know, in case if any of the athletes ever do see this video. So I have, if you didn't, catch my live stream yesterday I live stream every Sunday and you know yesterday I live streamed for like a good two hours and it was a really fun you know topic to talk about I talked about you know some of the things that I have experienced while being in Philadelphia as a Philadelphia sports fan you know some of the players that I met some of you know just the moments that I have remembered because we were really talking about like you know no sports is really killing everybody and everything like that it's also I'll probably put it at the end of this video because this is a pretty interesting video. I, I find it enjoyable and I think you guys will too. So stick around and, you know, here we go. So my two honorable mentions are when Bryce Harper threw me a, bait, a warm up ball June 7th against the Cincinnati Reds. I went with my friend and I purposely bought tickets in section 303, row 12. I. You know, purposely did that, and I said, I'm going to catch Bryce Harper's warm-up ball today, and that's exactly what I did. I caught the ball. It was a perfectly thrown ball right to my chest. I could do a story time on that if you guys really wanted me to, but, you know, that was basically it. And also, another another honorable mention is when I met Joel Embiid at a practice at Penn University during the, red, or during the blue versus white practice that they do every season. Obviously not. They didn't do it this season because there was like a leak in the in the um the roof or something like that. But Joel Embiid actually did sign my Joel Embiid jersey, and ever since then Joel Embiid has been my favorite player and athlete in Philadelphia. Now to get into the main story, the main my main favorite you know experience with an athlete. Me. And Mike Scott have this connection. I don't know what it is, but basically around Christmas time, it, it was actually last year at the trade deadline, three players were traded from the Los Angeles Clippers to the Philadelphia 76ers, those players being Tobias Harris, Boban Marjanovic, and Mike Scott. Now, with that being said, my grandma asked me, and she said, do you want any jerseys? Do you want Tobias? Do you want Boban? Because, you know, Bobby and Toby. And I said, yeah, sure. I'll, like, I'll take a Boban and a Tobias jersey. Like, why not? They're the two guys that I think could actually make an impact in a playoff run and stuff like that. And she was like, do you want the other guy? I was like, Mike Scott? She was like, yeah. I was like, uh, nah, not really. You know, it's Mike Scott. He'll probably barely play. So I get the package in the mail a couple weeks later. And it's a game against the Orlando Magic later that night. So I got the package and I was like, all right, well, that's cool. Like, I got it. I open it up. There's three jerseys. I only asked for two. I only said two players. I open up the first one, blue Tobias Harris 33. I open up the second one, red Boban Marjanovic alternate jersey. I open up the third one, a white Mike Scott jersey. And I was like, Okay, all right, I, I guess that's cool. So I texted her, said thank you and everything like that. 
So I was like, all right, well, now I'm going to wear one of these jerseys to the game. I said, you know what? I'm going to wear a Mike Scott jersey to the game. I go to the game. Mike Scott shooting around. He usually does sign a lot of... He He's a very... yeah, He's a nice dude. And he usually does sign everybody's, you know, posters, basketballs, you know, hats, cards. He signs everything. He sees me with a... Mike Scott jersey. And he says, is that a Landry jersey? He said, is that a Landry jersey? Because he obviously knew that Landry Shamma was number one. And I said, no. He was like, whose jersey is it? I was like, it's yours. He was like, you have my jersey? I was like, yeah. And he said, well, let me sign it. I was like, okay. So I turned around. And here it is. The signed Mike Scott jersey. And... You know, there is obviously a lot more to this story. So, he signed my jersey. He looks at me and he says, You're the first player in my seven years of an NBA career that I have seen wear my jersey. He dapped me up. He said, Thank you. It means a lot. You know. And then, as he was running back, he said, Man, I love Philly. And you could hear it. He was screaming, running down the hallway. So, then... Uh, so I have season tickets. I've had them for two years now. This was the second year, and it was last season when I, you know, had them. So he do- he came back out once Joel was there, and I was still there watching the shoot around and everything like that. He said, come back at the end of the game. And I said, okay, yeah, I'll come back. So Sixers versus Magic, you know, I'm all the way up top. I'm in 212 section. I'm in section 212, row 15, seats one and two. If you ever want to come say hi to me, you know, I'm there. Basically every game. Now, with that being said, I'm at the last row of the stadium. The very last row. I have to go all the way down to the tunnel, which is in section 103, 101. Or 103. And I have to make sure to be there at the end of the game. And mind you, that is a very expensive and popular seat. It's right next to the bench, right next to the locker room. You can basically, you literally can touch the players. So, you know, obviously I was like, I was with my brother that game. I was like, yo, like, I got to get down there. Mike Scott said, be down here at the end of the game. So I was like, okay, like, I have to be down there. So three quarters go three quarters go by. It's actually a pretty close game. I don't remember the final score of it, but I know we won. And the funny thing about it was Mike Scott hit the game winning three the game clinching three. And he has like he had like a great game. He had like six threes, like twenty points, something like that. Like he went off. He had a very good game. And I was sitting there with a Mike Scott jersey. I was getting looks all all around the stadium I had my Mike Scott like I had the ninja headband on I had it all and you know it was just crazy I was like wow like Mike Scott really just hit a game winning three so now there's like well before this there was like five minutes left so I was like yo like we got to go down now if I'm gonna get it we got to go down so I'm I start to go down I get the section 101 I say Mike Scott asked me I, I go to the security worker I said Mike Scott asked me if I could go down there to see him at the end of the game. She says, well, I didn't hear anything about that. So then I was like, all right, well, that sucks. So then I went to section 104, went down, had to cross over three sections of seats, got down to where, you know, I was standing during warm-ups. Mike Scott comes back. You know, the game's now over. Mike Scott's getting interviewed. James Ennis walks by first, and in this game, he actually didn't play. He was wearing his arm sleeve. I said, yo, James, like, can I get your, can I get your sleeve? He gave me his sleeve. I have it. It's over there. Mike Scott comes by. He has two sleeves on. He looks at me. He says, you brought me good luck. Gave me his arm sleeve from that game, from the game against the Orlando Magic when he hit the game winning shot and that easily was one of the coolest if not the coolest moment I've ever had with an athlete because he didn't have to do that 
giving me his arm sleeve and sign, and wanting to sign my jersey, actually asking me to sign his jersey, you know, that was dope. And, you know, ever since then, like, me and Mike, like, every time I see Mike Scott, you know, he always says what's up to me. He's always, like, real cool about it. And I actually went to a Mitchell and Ness event last summer when I wore this shirt. Straight Jack No Ice, if you can't see. It is when he's taking the sip of Jack Daniels at the Milwaukee Bucks versus Philadelphia 76ers game in Milwaukee. We actually won that game. I do remember that. Jimmy Butler went off in the fourth quarter. Man, I miss Jimmy. But that's besides the point. Ever since then, I became a huge Mike Scott fan. I'm a huge Mike Scott supporter. And I will support him until he is... No, I'll support him even after he's done playing for the Sixers. But I'm sure he lo- like he does love Philadelphia. He has told me that personally. He's told my friends that personally. That he does love the city of Philadelphia. That he would love to finish out his playing career in Philadelphia. Whether that's taking a couple like minimum contracts you know, veteran level deals, all that. And, you know, if Mike Scott ever does see this video, I am very thankful for you signing my jersey and giving me your arm sleeve. That is dope. It is easily the coolest memory that I have with a Philadelphia athlete. If you guys like these kind of story times, I can do a bunch of them. I have a lot of jerseys. I have a lot of different things signed. I know everything about the day, how I got it. I know all of it. So if you guys like this, make sure to tell me down below. Also, comment down below what your guys' favorite, you know, at or athlete memory is. Whether it's a Philadelphia athlete, whether it's not a Philadelphia athlete. It doesn't matter to me. Comment down below. Like this video if you do like the content. Subscribe to the channel. We are at 444 subs. 444. Because I am the 444 Philly fan. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. The road to 500 is a go. Thank you all for watching, and I am out. Peace.